Hello everybody. I uh, just wanted to go through my tarp setup real quick. I had a few questions about how I use a tarp instead of a tent. Um, if you're looking for a rugged kind of individual, a rugged kind of channel, this is not the one. I, uh, I like to smooth it out here, so I make sure I'm as comfortable as possible. Hence the, the bucket seat and foam pad and all that. But uh, on this side, to set up my ridge line for my tarp here, I have a running bowl in which I put this piece of wood in. If I pull this out, the whole thing comes down. Um, it doesn't come out unless I yank it out. It's, it's pretty solidly in there. Uh, this is just a little bit of bank line that I put on another toggle here, pulling the top tight. If this loosens up as the bank goes on, I could always just pull this back. Uh, the pressing knots are great for being able to move um, without tension, but once you add downward tension to it, it kind of sticks. Uh, check and pulls. I honestly don't use them as they're designed much anymore. Uh, I use them as more a, a adjustable rod <laughs> more than anything else. Uh, it comes in handy. You're not always near a place where you can, you know, build real quick and, and get the proper length of something. Uh, I have that stake down over here just to keep the tension on, keep everything pulling forward. Uh, same thing on the other side there. Uh, of course, I have the bucket on my leftover gear that hasn't been used to set this tarp up. Uh, here we have a ground mat, uh, which will keep, you know, bugs and dryness going on. Uh, I have a foam pad, and then that looks like a trash bag, but that's actually my sleeping bag. It's actually really, really warm, uh, which is why I keep it around, even though it's ugly as all hell. Uh, this is the bug net. It uh, goes up to about five feet if I wanted to. Uh, that's usually a good level right there for me. Let me not trip on this. Uh, this side, we have another pressic knot. Uh, this green cord goes to the bug net. This pressing knot's holding the, the tarp in place here. Again, you can always pull these as you need to. Uh, over here, we have my version of a trucker's hitch. All I have to do to close this end is pull these two out. So I pull these little toggles out, and the whole thing comes undone. Same thing on the other side, pull the toggle out. I'm good to go. I can detach the tarp by pulling those toggles out of the pressing knots there. Um, yeah, this is basically my, my whole setup. Uh, if I need to, I can always pull this side down. Uh, within one minute, I can have this side down, staked down, we'll make an A-frame tarp instead of this uh, lifted up version here. Yeah, that's all. I just wanted to go through uh, my tarp setup and how I don't use the tent and use this instead. It was one of the configurations. I'll have more to show you too. Thank you guys for watching.